Asalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kwa wale ambao wanapenda kujua maana ya maamkuzi maneno ninayotumia ni maneno ya kusema kwamba amani ya Mwenyezi Mungu rehema zake na baraka zake ziwe nanyi nyote. Karibuni tena kwenye makala mengine ambapo huwa tunadokezana. Tunaambiana maneno kwa muhtasar, kwa ufupi, lakini maneno mazito yenye maana nzito na yanaomaanisha kwamba tunajali maslahi yako. Katika makala haya ya leo nataka kuzungumzia kuhusu mambo manne. Truth ambayo ni kweli, justice, haki, freedom, uhuru na development maendeleo. Vitu hivi vya ambatana sana, vya shikana kwa ukaribu sana na vina maana pana iwapo utaweza kuviunganisha. Kwa sababu wanasema kwamba bila ya kweli huwa hakupatikani haki. Bila haki hakupatikani uhuru na bila uhuru hakupatikani maendeleo. Kwa muda mfupi uliopita kuna jambo ambalo limekuwa likizungumzwa sana mitaani na kwenye miji yetu hususan kwenye ufuo huu wa mwambao wa pwani. Na jambo hili la uhusiana zaidi na wavuvi wanavoweza kusumbuliwa na hata vitu vyao kuchukuliwa na baadhi yao hivi sasa nikizungumza na nyinyi wamefungwa na vitu vyao vimezuiwa tafadhali fuatana nami ni kuambie kwa sababu narudi kwenye hotuba ya nane eighth state of the nation address ya mheshimiwa ndugu rais uhuru muigai kinyata ambayo kama sikukosea alitoa mwezi wa novemba na kama ikiwa nimepatia kabisa tarehe ilikuwa ni 30 mwezi wa novemba mwaka 2021 nataka kufuatana na mimi sasa hivi ni tano kuu kutoka ukurasa wa 139 hadi ukurasa wa 142 ambapo kuna ibara maalumu nimezichagua kukunukulia tafadhali tulia papo hapo sasa nikupe kwa makini ibara hizo ibara ya kwanza ambayo ni ibara ya 172 inasema My administration has also set in motion the process of reviving the blue economy a blue economy strategy set to reclaim all fish landing sites is in place we have set up a coast guard to secure our maritime assets and we have come up with a legal framework that will ensure that all fish caught in Kenya's water are landed in Kenya. Kwa hivyo wanataka kutuonesha kwamba wanachukua sehemu zote ambazo ni za kutua, vihori, majahazi, madawa ya wavuvi ili waweze kurudisha lakini kwa sababu moja tu wanalenga kufufua uchumi wanaita uchumi samawati au kipenda blue economy. Na wanataka kuhakikisha kwamba kwenye mwambao huu na ufuo huu wetu Sehemu zote hizo zitaweza kuweza kuwapa fursa ya kukusanya samaki na kuweza kukuza uchumi samawati. Kisha ibara inayofuata ambayo iko kwenye ukurasa wa 140 ni ubara ya 173 wanasema it is worth recalling that in the 1990s Kenya processed 5% of the global loin tuna catch This was produced by a company known as Wananchi Marine Products Limited based in Liwatoni in Mombasa. When this company collapsed, Kenya's tuna was extracted by other countries and resold in foreign markets. Kwa hivyo kulikuwa na Wananchi Marine Products ambao asilimia tano tu ya samaki hawa wa jodari walikuwa wakiweza kuwafanyia kazi hapa katika miaka 1990. Kwa hivyo inawasikitisha serikali na kwa mujibu wa utuba ya rais kwamba haya yanataka kurudishwa. Ibara ya 174 ambayo iko kwenye ukurasa wa 141 wanasema inability to exploit our tuna resources has seen Kenya lose a potential revenue of Kenya shillings 3 trillion since 1982. When the exclusive economic zones were set up by the United Nations and to revive this dead capital my administration formed the Kenya Fishing Industries Corporation in 2019 to regulate the exploitation of Kenya's marine and fish products 
this corporation took over from the defunct Wananchi Marine Products Limited and it is in the process of setting up